In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question to find first and last position of an element in a sorted array. So given an array of integer and a target value, we have to write a code to find its first and last position. So uh, the array is sorted and it contains duplicate elements. So if you see this example, uh, this is a sorted array and it contains duplicate elements and the target value is 11 we have to find the first and last position of a number 11 so uh, the first occurrence of a number 11 is at index 5 and its last occurrence is at index 8 so think how we can solve this problem efficiently one way is to solve this problem is by using linear search so in linear search what we do is uh, I have declared two indexes first and last index and assign an initial value minus one then I start traversing an array and then if I found the target value and first index is equal to equal to minus one it means we have not found its first occurrence then I assign the index current index in uh, this variable and now the next condition is if we found the target value and the first index is not equal to minus one it means we have found its first occurrence now we are uh, searching for its second occurrence and then we assign the last in uh, the current index in the last index variable so in this way we get its first and last occurrence but the time complexity of this approach is o n can we uh, can we improve its time complexity can we uh, do better than that yes we can uh, take the advantage of the sorted property of an array we can use binary search to solve this problem in O log n time complexity and let's see how we can do that. Let's suppose uh, we are going to find the first and last position of a number 6 in this array. So uh, let's see how we can solve this problem using binary search. So in binary search what we do is we first compute the mid and then we compare the value present at mid index to the target value, value we are going to search in an array and based on that we decide whether we have to traverse in whether we have to search this value in left half of the array or right half of the array so let's see uh, we need a start and end index so a start is r0 and end is array length minus 1 so in this case it is 5 then we compute the mid so this condition is true the value of start variable is less than equal to n then we compute the mid so in this case the mid is 2 so let's go to index 2 so it is so here is 0 1 and 2 so at index 2 the element 6 is present so this condition is true we found the target value but we are not sure whether this value the 6 present at this index uh, so the value of 6 is the first occurrence or last or maybe something else as uh, the array contain duplicate elements and 6 can be repeated any number of times but one thing we are sure that if 6 is found at this index then its first occurrence either this is its first occurrence or the first occurrence is found in left half of the array so in this part so what we do is we keep this index we assign the mid value in index variable as this might also be its first index I mean its first occurrence so we assign this value in in an index variable and then we assign and to mid minus 1 so we assign a value 1 to end variable so we search in this part so start is 0 and end is 1 
so again we compute the mid and in this time the mid is 0 so let's see uh, the, uh, the value present at index 0 is 4 which is less than 6 so in this case what we do is we do this operation we assign mid plus 1 to start variable so the value of start is 1 then again we compute mid and this time it is 1 so we run this loop until this condition is true start is less than equal to end and after that whatever the value of index uh, we found we return it so in our case it is 2 so we found the first occurrence of number 6 at index 2 so the time complexity of finding uh, the first position of a number 6 is O log n and let's see how we can find the last position of a number 6 I have explained how we can find the first position of a number 6 now let's see how we can find the last occurrence or uh, the last position of a number 6 so this code is same except a few changes let's see so here we compute the mid and mid is 2 so we reach at this index and then this condition is true so we know that sys, uh, 6 is occurred at this index but we are not sure whether it uh, whether this is uh, its first position or its last so in case of first position what we have done uh, we search is there any other index is there any other occurrence of 6 present in the left half of the array so in this case we do the opposite so if 6 has occurred at this index then we know that the last occurrence will be found in the right part of the array so this might be the last occurrence or position or it will be it will be found in right part of the array so instead of end here we have assigned a start to mid plus one so we assign the value 3 here so the value of end is 5 and the value of start is 3 then again we compute the mid and this time it is 4 so it is 0 1 2 3 and 4 so the element present at this index is 8 so this condition is true so the element present at array mid value is greater than the value we are searching which is 6 then we what we do is we assign n to mid minus 1 and so the value of mid is uh, 4 and this is 3 then again we compute the mid and we reach at this index so the mid is 3 so we reach at this index and the again this condition is true and the new value is assigned at index variable which is 3 then again we do this operation until this condition is true and once we came out of this loop we return the value present at index and in our case it is 3 so we found the last occurrence or last position of a number 6 at index 3 so again the time complexity of this approach is o log n and let's see the uh, main method so in main method i have declared uh, this array and we are searching 11 and then we have called the method to find the first position find the last position and then i have printed the first and last index of an array if i run this code so you can see uh, the output is 5 and 8 so 
in this tutorial i have explained two approaches one is to simply traverse an array to find the first and last index the time complexity of that approach is o n and then we have modified our solution to to give the result in o log n time complexity using binary search so uh, that's it for this video tutorial for more such programming videos you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video